hurts a rental car company. Who wrote this? I did, but we're just trying to spice up the videos. Hertz, a rental car company founded in Chicago, Illinois, over 100 years ago. No, not that Hertz. Hertz, a car audio company that dedicates a price to performance ratio in all of its products. Whether you're in the beginning stages of getting into hi-fi car audio, or you're ready to run the best of the best, Hertz has everything covered at an affordable cost. Today we'll be looking at the Hertz Milli Pro line from coaxles to components and a range of different sizes. They're all ready to give you crisp, clean, all around acoustical sound, but they can also keep up with a high SPL system as well. Stay tuned. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Gucci, Versace, Spaghetti, Gelato, Jacob. It's okay, you'll see where we're going with it. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Gucci, Versace, Spaghetti, Gelato, Hertz. What do they all have in common? Un background Italiano. Hertz is an innovative brand that continues to bring their fans and customers what they desire. Great sounding audio components. Beginning in 1998, backed by their parent company, Electromedia, an Italian manufacturer of audio products since 1979, the Hertz team quickly introduced some of the greatest technologies that are behind each and every one of their products through innovation and the creative minds of their R&D department throughout the design phase. From the Tetalon Dome tweeter material to boundary fee surrounds and V cones, each and every one of these things all create what Hertz wants in terms of one of their main goal for the Milli line, which is sound staging. Now today in particular, we'll be looking at the full line of Milli Pro speakers. Now there is a higher end line called the Milli Legend, but we'll save that one for another video. Now these speakers are not brand new to the Hertz lineup, but are still considered current models. Now if you're not familiar with Hi-Fi Car Audio, new speakers are not replaced each year with new models. It's normal for speakers, especially high-end speakers, to run for many, many years. Okay, with that being said, we're gonna be running through the specs, taking a deep look at the speakers themselves, test them out, and give you the pros and cons. And finally, we'll give you our final thoughts on how we feel about these speakers and the product line overall. Okay, let's get into it. The MPK 165.3 mid-range driver has a boundary-free surround that provides more woofer cone surface area than other speakers in its size. The idea behind that is to enable it to move more air giving deeper bass. Now Jacob, one of our sales guys, who also writes some of our scripts here on our channel, has confirmed that with the right amplification, mounting, and correct sound dampening, they sound like subwoofers in your doors because of how low these speakers can actually play. Now the reason why he knows is because he's had these speakers in his car before, but he switched them out, not because he didn't like them, because basically Jacob changes out speakers and amplifiers as often as he changes out his shoes. The cone is made of an enhanced pressed pulp and cotton fiber. It allows for a more rigid surface that plays frequencies accurately. Hertz V-Cone allows for a better sound dispersion and high SPL. Now the frequency response is 40 to 5K and the power handling is 90 watts RMS. The tweeter is the MP25.3. Now this is kept throughout the line and is made with Tetalon material. Now the Tetalon is a combination of silk and cotton with proprietary dampening treatment. Now this provides low mass and resonance free response up to ultrasonic frequencies. A centered tuning duct is positioned in the middle of the strong neodymium magnet resulting in a resonant frequency as low as 1000 Hertz to allow lower crossover frequencies with the woofer resulting in a very elevated sound stage and a top end frequency response up to 22.5 kilohertz. It has a one inch ferro fluid cooled mobile voice coil and handles up to 120 watts max. The crossover is the MPCX 2.3 and is made to exploit the potential of the wide frequency range of the tweeter. It ensures a natural transition from the woofer to the tweeter for maximum natural acoustic emissions. 
and has a low and high pass filter at 5500 hertz. So these three individual components make up the MPK165.3 and the specs are 110 watts RMS and 220 watts peak and they have a frequency range between 40 hertz and 22,500 hertz. Hertz does make a great three base system as well that builds off the two-way component system, the MPK163.3. It adds a set of MP70.3 3-inch mid-range and a different crossover to support all the speakers in this kit. The 3-inch mid-range has a neodymium magnet positioned inside of the voice coil, which provides great mid-range and combined with the 165 woofer and the tweeter, this makes a great combination for a dynamic range. Now using the ultra selected components, the dedicated MPCX 3.3 crossover provides optimum crossover points to utilize the mid range extension. Now this set handles up to 150 watts RMS, 300 watts peak. These have the same frequency range as the two way components, 40 Hertz up to 22,500 Hertz. Now trip out on the coaxials. Jacob, I don't talk this way, man. Oh yeah, I forgot you're old. Er. But notice anything special about it? Almost all the technology is implemented on these from the component set, but what sets these apart from other coax speakers is the flush mounted tweeter. Now normally a tweeter on a coaxial sits much higher and away from the woofer. Now these speakers are actually the complete opposite. The reasoning behind what's called the concentric coaxial tweeter is to achieve one single point of emission to recreate the virtual soundstage and can be comparable to the two-way component system in just a single speaker unit. Pretty impressive. Now this speaker handles up to 100 watts RMS and maxes out at 200 watts peak. The frequency response is 45 hertz up to 22,500 hertz. And the woofer features a 1.42 inch voice coil and a one inch voice coil for the tweeter. Now within this line, they also make a five and a quarter, which is the 130s. Now these share a lot of the characteristics and specs of the 165s or six and a halfs, with the exception of the power, which is 100 watts RMS instead of 110 watts RMS. And of course the lower frequency response because of the smaller woofer, which will play down to 60 Hertz opposed to 40 Hertz with the six and a halfs. There also is a three-way coax 6x9 available, the MPX690.3, which features a 28 millimeter Tetalon tweeter with Neo Denium magnets and faceplate profile maximizing the off-axis dispersion along with a super tweeter that boosts high frequencies up to 24K. And the basket radio ventilation system keeps operating temperatures low. The sound has a strong impact and provides excellent control even when you're listening to music loud for a long period of time. Now these handle up to 130 watts RMS and 260 watts peak. The frequency range goes as low as 30 Hertz and up to the mentioned 24,000 Hertz. Okay, let's move on to the testing phase. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the two-way components and the coaxials in the six and a half, along with the three-way six by nines. Now we'll be using a Helix M4, which is 100 watts RMS into four ohms, and we'll be running the Alpine CVE-175BT and all our audio levels on the radio will be set to flat. I want to make you my lover Can you feel me watching through the phone? Wow, these sound so good through my computer screen. Oh yeah, make sure you grab a set of good sounding headphones to play them through or something that's gonna be better than your computer or phone speakers. I want to make you my lover Can you feel me watching through the phone? Hiding out under covers Call me now Here's to the good days Here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too I want to make you my lover Can you feel me watching through the phone? Hiding out under
it's really hard to tell why you are who say me you try and cut me off and set yourself free and then you come right back and gently persuade me i want to go here's to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go come closer i just want to play i want to make All right, on to the pros and cons. Now these speakers are powerful. They sound smooth and kick hard. Now due to having the woofer designed to hit lower frequencies very well, they lack a bit of mid-range. It's one of those win here but lose here type situations, but if you got the extra money and the space, the three-way setup could solve that problem for you. Nevertheless, the setup is absolutely nice and the tweeters are very, very smooth and heavy duty. They don't sound too bright and they give you a subtle warmth to them. The power handling is definitely up there. If you were running an SPL setup, these speakers would absolutely keep up with a 2000 to 3000 watt subwoofer, no problem. Hertz really knows how to appease both types of audiences audiophiles and SPL guys. They were able to create a system of speakers that hit many margins for audiophiles. Clarity, warmth, and absolute spot on sound reproduction. For SPL guys, if you're playing these things at high volume, no problem, they will keep up. The beautiful thing about these speakers is they're so well built. With the right amplification, they will scream at you when you want them to. If you're interested in any of these speakers, there are links in the description below taking you directly to each product page. We do have financing available. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Okay, that's gonna do it. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Josh, signing off, and we'll see you next time.